Uh, good afternoon, it's Roger Gilbert from International Aquafeed Magazine here, and I'm in Taipei. Uh, I'm in Taiwan, Taipei, here at APA Taiwan 2018. It's an exhibition and conference, and I'm on the exhibition stand of Bioman, and I'm talking to Ben Standen. And Ben is going to tell us a little bit about the products he has on display today uh, for this uh, Asian market. Uh, ben? Good afternoon, Roger. Um, so Biome is working passionately to improve the sustainability of the aquaculture industry. Uh, we do this by developing innovative uh, feed additives um, involved in improving nutrition, improving the environment and also the health of aquatic animals. Uh, for example, if we look at trends of aquafeeds today, we see more and more plant meals um, in, in aquafeeds. This introduces a, a number of different uh, problems. For example, we see higher uh, risks of mycotoxins in the diets. Uh, mycotoxins can cause uh, problems for uh, immunity. They can cause uh, a retardation of growth and things like this. So it's important we uh, alleviate these mycotoxins. We do this by using binders for adsorption and also enzymes and microbials for biotransformation. Also, with plant meals, we see reduced digestibility, and this is where we focus our uh, phytogenic uh, uh, additive line, Digestrom. This is all about improving the digestibility of uh, feed ingredients, improving feed conversion, and reducing feed costs as well. Are you targeting just one species or all species, and marine and uh, freshwater as well? Um, if we look at our activities on a global basis, uh, most of our activities are focused in uh, Southeast Asia, but also in Latin America as well. So we look at species such as tilapia, uh, shrimp, pangasius, uh, catfish in Asia, um, also similar kind of species in Latin America. We do a lot of work with salmon as well in Europe and also Chile. And also in the Mediterranean, we're looking into the, the sea bass and the sea bream uh, uh, industry as well. So we have a range of activities. Uh, we use similar products, but have slightly different applications depending on the species. I know you have a manufacturing plant in Vietnam. Is that supplying the whole region? Uh, yes, so we have a number of different products, as you said. Uh, we have a number of different uh, production plants. So the production plant in uh, Vietnam is providing premixes, mainly for Asia. Um, we have other production facilities, for example, in Singapore, which is where our probiotic uh, line is, ma is made. And the probiotics are registered throughout the world, um, uh, including Latin America and Asia as well. And how are you finding the Asian market at the moment? Is it up or down or just plateaued? It's always interesting for us. Uh, we see our share, or at least we believe our market share is growing. The industry is, of course, growing all the time. And every day we're facing new challenges, new challenges in terms of uh, nutritional uh, challenges, uh, disease challenges and things like this. So every day is a new challenge. Some of these uh, present opportunities for us. Um, and of course, it's a very, very dynamic and very exciting industry to work in. But we see our activities are growing all the time. And Ben, how are you finding the show here in Taiwan? Uh, actually, it's my first time in Taiwan uh, as a city. I really, really like the, the place. Uh, and as a show, it's, it's very, very uh, been productive uh, for us. We're making lots and lots of new contacts, lots of new uh, partnerships. And also, it's very good to catch up with some old faces as well. Thank you very much, Ben, and all the best for the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Thank you.